have of members from some of the largest companies in the world, and they, have, and they have committed themselves to sustainability. And one of their streams is energy efficiency in buildings. And so about five years ago, the first WBCSG reports on energy efficiency in buildings came out. And they're actually these great, very well-received reports analyzing what some of the challenges were and creating a roadmap towards sustainability. A few years down the line, I kind of realized, of course, the progress had been made and we would all like to see and what we'd need to change. And so they did a kind of market analysis of what organizations were also working on energy efficiency and what were they not doing. And they realized that what needed to happen is to work more in the area of engagement and bringing different people together. And they decided they'd like to create a replicable model of engagement. And so they brought together, um, they invited the World Green Building Council, also ULI, the Urban Land Institute, and the International Energy Agency as they represent different groups of um, stakeholders and asked us to join as partners in their efforts to create this replicable model of engagement. And the project started last year. They actually did their first test run um, in San Francisco back in June. And they're doing another test run of this model in Shanghai in December. And so basically the real potential for here for Green Building Councils and why we're participating in this partnership is that it could be an excellent opportunity for your Green Building Council to partner with the local WBCSD chapter, which they have all over the world that represent these very powerful, very large companies, to work together to bring people together to create solutions for different stakeholders to help them conquer these energy efficiency challenges. And these particular bodies they might be working with, it might be a city government, it might be a um, an owner of a portfolio of properties, it might be a hotel chain, and you would work with them to figure out what it was, the particular barriers that they were having, and how that might be, how that might be overcome. So we're still working to see, looking for when that's going to kind of come to fruition and the best way for Green Building Councils to have a role in that. So that is our update on these partnerships, and I'm wondering, Jane, if you'd like to just go straight into your um, the talk on SB 14. Um, Didn't want to take questions. Oh, that's an excellent point. We can take questions now on these partnerships. Uh, GBCs can work on different levels. So for example, after our meetings in Malta and Egypt, we also met with the focal team in Jordan to help uh, develop their feedback to the committee which was in charge for the region. So when you do advocacy, there are different levels within which you could function. So I thought this was okay. Uh, it's part of the city's action plan. And what does this mean, this new 10 YFP? What does it mean to a country like us? It means that there's more funds available for projects. Uh, what are the what is, you know, I mean, the CP is not doing So the exact framework is still being worked out. Um, by the end of the year, they're hoping to have the exact you know, mechanics of the program and how the Secretariat interacts with you know, the projects and the, and the different people managing those programs, um, as well as what the trust fund uh, looks like and is made of. Uh, so that has not been decided yet. Um, but it's absolutely worth connecting with the UNEP Secretariat to, to learn more. Um, and I do have to know that. Uh, Alex? I was just going to quickly see the Jane. Um, the, the ICLE Resident Resilience Summit, Resilient Cities Summit, you know, you said that they were talking about resilience, but are they, are they talking about a climate change resiliency or a wider resiliency, including earthquake resiliency? quite focused on climate change, uh, but there were other streams, but there was probably 80% climate change. 